today we're going to dose these 20 years with uh, start tech and we're going to vaccinate them with barbavax and then we're going to put them out in their paddocks ready for lambing so we'll split them up into three mobs in a previous video i mentioned that uh, best practice vaccinating was to vaccinate behind the ear um, however because these ewes are so big and so strong and we're getting so old um, it's quite difficult for Sarah to vaccinate behind the ear on these ewes so instead some of the time she's vaccinating uh, in the loose skin of the tail um, if that's done carefully it's it's a reasonable compromise a solution to the problem that we could consider um, is a race that actually lifts the sheep off the ground. Uh, you put about 25 sheep in, lift the sheep off the ground and um, that immobilises the sheep so their heads don't move um, and makes the vaccination or drenching process a whole lot easier. Um, we do know of a neighbour of ours that's just bought one. We haven't actually seen it in action. I think they're manufactured by a company called Proway. Um, and we certainly need to have a look at that, but they are quite expensive for our size operation. Because these ewes are heavily pregnant with twin lambs, they need to handle them carefully so as not to put pressure on them. I try to hold them behind the rump with my left leg um, and that keeps the pressure off the fetus. Um, but it means quite a stretch to reach their head and it becomes especially awkward if they put their head down under a ewe in front of them. It wasn't so difficult 20 years ago, but it's a bit harder now. <laughs> Especially given how healthy they are, they certainly put up a bit of a fight. StarTech's a relatively new drench. Um, it must irritate them a little bit because it, it makes them cough. Um, it's the only drench we've ever come across that does that. <laughs> So what we're, what we're going to do here is do a condition score on these ewes. Um, so Sarah will do the actual condition scoring and I'll record it on the Lifetime Ewe Management app. Okay, so what that's given us is an average, I don't know if you can see that, but an average score of 3.26. Uh, you might recall from an earlier video that we were trying to get them up to 3.2 before lambing, so our feeding regime has worked reasonably well in that regard. Um, however, this is the first race of the mob, and it might be slightly unrepresentative of the mob, so we'll take a, uh, another little test towards the end and see how that goes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> They're fighting us. Trying to show you a bit about condition score. We can see, you can see the backbone on this one without the wool. And so she's actually in a condition score of two and a half, and it's because she's got a sore back leg is the problem. So we'll do a bit of work on that. I don't know if you can see that very well. But you can see how there's not meat over the backbone there. That's the backbone there. As opposed to this one here, which still only a condition score of still only a condition score of three on this one. Um, but it has got much better coverage. Well, I can still feel the backbone there. And this one here. Probably slightly better, but still only a condition score of three, really. Um, that one there, still a condition score of three. That one there's slightly better, maybe a 3.25. Might even be nearly three and a half, that one. So 
so you can see it's not actually easy to visually tell even this one here is probably a 2.75 you can just see how yeah, there's not a lot of coverage over that backbone there and you you can see how if there's wool on you can't tell you have to feel it well that's enough for this video <clears throat> we'll split them up into three mobs uh, about 75 in each mob put them back in their paddocks um, and we should have the first lambs on the ground in about a week's time, give or take a few days, see how it goes.